Okay. <clears throat> Alright. Hi, everyone. Uh, Dark Brian is here for a bit of a uh, RE showcase reaction video. I'm just coming off from a stream, but I wanted to do a bit of a reaction video to the new RE showcase coming around since I'm actually kind of hyped for what Resident Evil 8 has to offer. Uh, all I know so far is that Resident Evil 8's gameplay is going to be based off Resident Evil 7's gameplay. And Resident Evil 7 was alright. It wasn't my big cup of tea, but I did enjoy playing the game for the most part. It was completely off part from what everything else was, and I liked it when Chris showed up. The gameplay felt a little more like common Resident Evil, like modern, not common, modern, which is RE4 to RE6. But at the same time, I don't hate RE5 or 6. I, I personally find them fun. I find them enjoyable. Anyways, I'm getting a little sidetracked. Uh, what do I expect from the showcase exactly? Uh, I expect to see some gameplay. Which, I mean, that should be a given. I'm, I'm expecting to see some gameplay, see how they're going to handle RE7's gameplay in the RE8. Uh, I'm wanting to know what some of the enemies are. I Not, like, the big enemies, the big people. Like, I want the big people, the big bosses, the big villains. I want them to stay hidden. Okay? I, I don't care. I know one of them was already revealed to be Chris Redfield. That's it. That's all I want to know. I only want to know one. And, honestly... The only reason that you should reveal Chris Redfield is because you're not revealing how he seems to be a villain, which is what I want to see. I want to see how is Chris Redfield a villain. I don't want to see this during the showcase, though. I want to see it during the game. I want to experience it during the game. A lot of game companies recently think they should just dump everything on us, and I generally do not think we should have that. Now, like I said, I want to see a few enemies. Those little ground-type enemies who are, like, in, a, like, this weird werewolf combination thing. It was like, eh, sure, show us some of that. I'd be down to seeing some of what, that, what they are. I'd be down to seeing more of what they are. People are like, oh, can you add female variants? And I'm like, eh, I really don't care. I just want to see enemies that are going to be challenging and at least be somewhat of an issue to the main character. They use Ethan Winters. I... I'm curious how Ethan Winters plays out, too. Mm -hmm. That that These are, like, my big... I'm trying to think. Like, what would be the big goals in the end? As for anything else, any little snippets, yeah, nah, not really. I'm not expecting too much, and I'm not expecting too little, and I'm going to see if, you know, everything comes out the way it should be in a little sense. Uh, Alright, so now we're just going to wait for the time to run out. I'm not going to cut any of this. I'm just going to show, like, little pictures of me in the bottom right corner. Just reacting like, hmm, oh, hmm. You know, just little little pictures. I'll get, like, proper emoticons here soon to represent my face and be all more expressive. But for the time being, this is going to be, like, a quick edit video Quick review, quick understanding of what's going on. That's pretty much it. Like I said, I'm very curious to see what Resident Evil 8's got to offer for us. Because I played through RE3 Make, re aka Resident Evil 3 Remake, RE3 Make, recently. And I have to agree with quite a few people that the game feels short. And Jill, my biggest issue with the game is that the story feels shorter, like way shorter than it should be, in that Jill feels like she's an off character, like off as in she's already complete. When in the original Resident Evil 3, she was trying to relax and cope with the fact that, you know, the incident over at the Spencer Mansion is over with. And now having to deal with this... You can see somewhat that she's dealing with PTSD in the beginning, but they don't emphasize more on that, which, honestly, I feel like they should have. But, you know, I'm a bit of a stickler, and I think, you know, more story should have been implemented to where it would be more enjoyable. Like, why does Jill have the PTSD exactly? Because some people saw I don't remember Resident Evil 1. What exactly is going on? Can you give us memories or flashbacks to this? 
because flashbacks aren't actually a bad thing as long as they're utilized properly. Carlos, I think he was handled perfectly. I liked Carlos. I liked the way he moved. I liked the way he spoke. I liked the way he acted. He was more fleshed out as a character, and I enjoyed that. As for the whole premise of Nemesis, I think Nemesis was terrifying. I think he was threatening, and I think he fit properly into the situation. But enough Resident Evil 3 remake talk. We're about to start the showcase. Let's go! Let us go! Come on! Seven, six, five, four, three, two, one! Boom! Let's go. Let's go. All right. Rated M for everyone. Okay. Okay, this is what we see. see a bit of this so far. Ooh. All right. Give me some of the juicy information. Give me some juicy information. Hey, everyone. Thank you so much for joining us today, and welcome to our Resident Evil Showcase. Nice to meet you, Brittany. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, here to give you a closer look into what Capcom has coming up for the Resident Evil franchise. We'll be kicking things off with some brand new content and an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay that you do not I really don't want to miss it, personally. Without further ado, let's get started. All right, thank you. Show us Resident Evil 8 Village. World premiere. <laughs> Come on, don't do this to us. Come on. Think positively, all right? Mm hmm. We talked about this. Mia. I know. We hardly talk about anything else. Are you okay? Are they? Are they get, just getting back in the relationship? To. Hmm. coming you're who are you all right you getting me a little creepy out there mother miranda to inform you that ethan winters has escaped that fool heisenberg mother miranda interesting because he is in my castle and has already proven too much for my daughters to handle when i find him no mother miranda oh no mother miranda that's not yes, mother miranda of course i understand the importance of the ceremony. Hmm. I won't let you down. So she's talking to someone who's Mother Miranda, and she's not she's not the big villain. Okay, thank goodness. We know this already. I want to know who this Mother Miranda is, though, but I don't want to know now. I want to know during the game. Can someone please tell me what the hell is going on here? No. The place is full of nothing but blood and death. All right. Hmm. Oh, torture devices. Thank you. Medieval castle. That should be expected. Oh, God. Oh, God. Oh, Lord. They're using swords. Okay. Interesting. Oh, gee. Oh, they got sickles. Oh. Oh. Wait. I saw that. Was that... Ethan's baby. Well, Ethan Winters. There you are. Ooh. <laughs> oh, God. Oh, jeez. Oh, these guys are going to be terrifyingly evil. Mm. All right. Are you? Let's see what you're really made of. Ethan Winters. Oh, who are you? Oh, you got me interested. Oh, this has got me interested for the game. Oh. That was amazing, but I still have so many questions. Same here. Hello there, Pete Fabiano. Please don't tell us too much. No epic release. The PS4 version upgraded for free to the digital PS5 version. And the Xbox One version gives you free access to the game on Xbox Series X. Through smart. smart nice. And no epic games. Pleasure, Thank you. Thank you, Capcom, for being smart with the freaking no epic. Screw epic. Will be available worldwide on May 7th, 2021. May 7th! May 7th! May 7th! Alongside the standard edition, we have a few other options for the game. First, 
we have Digital Deluxe Edition, available on all platforms. Players will be able to heighten their survival horror experience with extra content, including in-game items that call back to Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. Interesting. There's also a collector's, oh, a collector's edition! All the deluxe edition content, as well as a striking figure of Chris Redfield. A steelbook case, uh, poster, I don't have art. physical though, I'm going to get it on Steam. Played the previous entry, we have the Resident Evil Village and Resident Evil Smart. Biohazard Bunch. Smart, that is smart. This lets you get your hands on the award-winning RE7 while you wait for Resident Evil Village. Pre-order any of these editions, and you'll be able to get your hands on both the Mr. Raccoon weapon accessory and their survival resource pack. Dude, I'm pre-ordering. Uh, I'm pre-ordering today after this. Finally, digital pre-orders from the Oh, it's only PlayStation Store for soundtrack though. Yeah. Resident Evil Village mini soundtrack. All right. I've All right. been waiting for this. I know you Yeah, show me some gameplay, this. boys. For the world premiere first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Alongside this first no. look, we have Pete Fabiano back to offer some insights as well. Okay, so like design choices maybe? Okay, I'm I'm down. I'm down to understand some design choices. I'm down for it. Give me. We're here to give you an exclusive first look at Resident Evil Village gameplay. Sword and shield. Just like in Resident Evil 7 Biohazard. You'll be taking control of Ethan Winters. Fair enough. Control to you. Make your way from the village to the castle. So village to the Players castle. will need to get in and search for their kidnapped daughter. Okay, so you have a daughter, As which is from Mia. Now, Resident Evil Village keeps the first-person perspective. We think it really draws players into the detailed world we've created. Honestly, I'd agree with you. I agree with you in that situation. Nice look so far. This is a really good presentation of the game. And I'm down to enjoy this. I'm, I'm certain I'll enjoy this. I'll probably stream it too. Yeah, I'll probably stream it. A lot of those little details come to life here. God. No, he's right. Mm, I love it. I love it. I love that so much. Look. The walls. Look at those. Ah. Put a ton of effort into creating a truly authentic feel. Oh, dude. You guys put so much effort into this. From art design to technology. Everything ties in great and creates some beautiful visuals. Oh, that look! I, again, I'm I'm so into this right now. I am so into this. And there's the sisters. Now it's time to meet some of the castle denizens. As you'd expect, a warm welcome's not really what's. Oh, there's three sisters. Oh, jeez. Oh, oh, oh. Oh! Oh! Wow. Oh. Let's take a look at him. Well, well, Ethan Winters. <sighs> you escaped my little brother's idiot games, did you? Let's see how special you are. And it's like, that's not even the first part of the game. Like, they're trying to show, like, what happens in the second part. Gears a bit. We're finally going to show off some combat. Okay. Intrigue me. I hear the sword dragging. Okay, so it's, it's not just about shooting. Guarding will also be an important part of the game. Guarding. Okay. Okay, so they actually made guard. Hey, you can push. Oh! Oh, that's so good. Oh yes! Give me the push away. Each type of enemy has their own distinct way of fighting, so you'll need to change up your strategy to defeat them. Oh jeez. Okay, Everyone so you... Everyone knows what to do with red barrels. Okay, right? yeah, come on. That makes sense. Some of you will remember a similar management system in Resident <gasps> Evil 4. This time around, we've added crafting, which allows you... To Resident Evil 4? Manage inventory? With crafting? What? <laughs> yeah! Let's go! Weapons to find and utilize throughout oh, I love that. Oh, I love that so much. Yes! God! <sighs> I've been waiting for you. Merchant! Winter. This is a merchant! How do you know my name? Anyone who is anyone has heard of the likes of you. The merchant makes a return. <sighs> this time he's known as the, the Duke. Duke. The Duke. You'll be going to him to buy and sell weapons among But this them. is a different merchant. Is he like related maybe? Oh, that'd be cool. The director wanted to give him a unique look, and you'll often find him in different situations each time you encounter him. 
That's cool. He's an interesting fella. Oh, I love that dude. I love him already. He's really cool looking. He's also pretty chubby. I like that. Giving, giving attention. Ooh, knife makes a return. Smash away with your trusty knife. Please tell me it's an infinite There's use. Plenty of items to find in your trap. It's infinite use. Thank good. Thank goodness. Because it says trusty knife. He doesn't say you gotta find multiple knives. Good. I hate the fact that there was only limited knives. I hated it. And we've also got extra objectives outside of the main one. Dude, yes. There's gonna be so much content in this, and I love it. Yes! Please! Give me more puzzles! Oh, and, uh, plenty of surprises to keep you on your toes. Yep, and there's the sister. One of the sisters. Yep, because the mobs control are where the sisters usually are. Oh, no. Oh jeez. Oh jeez. Oh, so shooting her's not a good thing either. Oh, they're like vampires too. Oh. Oh. Now that we've shown you what's in store okay. in Evil Village. They have a PlayStation 5 demo. Oh my lord, I wish I had a PlayStation 5 right now. I really wish I had a PlayStation 5. Maiden. That's the demo's name. God. Please tell me it comes to PC eventually. I want to play the demo. demo. Players won't be playing as Ethan, but as a character we're referring to as the Maiden. Mm. Unlike Fair the enough. Game, this experience doesn't feature combat or even blocking. So it's a look around demo. I'm fine with that. I'm fine with a look around demo. demos are actually never usually used and I wish that more games did that we're hoping to have players get a real feel for the visuals and audio as they take the maiden on her journey to find a way out of the castle and you can download the exclusive demo on PlayStation 5 god today. dang it of course we want as many people as possible to get a chance to play so we'll have a separate new demo available on all platforms sometime this spring sometime okay this spring. Thank goodness. I'm pre-ordering today, mind you. I am going to pre-order today. It marks the 25th anniversary of the Resident Evil franchise. Nice. The very first game releasing in Japan back on March 22nd, 1996. God. Since then, the series has expanded well beyond the realm of video games. From toys and board games... The CG movies, movies, Hollywood action films. films, yep. Resident Evil has become a cultural icon. Completely Resident agree. Resident continues to offer surprises around every corner, so let's pass it along to producer Tsuyoshi Kanda to hear more about what you can... There's more! There's more! There's more than Resident Evil! Yes! Earlier this month, we started inviting players to join a club oh, better time. Test the... Oh. test won't happen until later next week. Oh. But I want to use this chance to reveal more no, details. No, I wish I was invited. Of Resident Evil coming on March 22nd. We are excited to celebrate this milestone with our fans. What is it going to be on March 22nd? We showed off a piece of key art showcasing some of Resident Evil's iconic characters to start the celebration. Fair enough. Now, I'm happy to announce what was behind. What was it? What was it? Let's take a look. Come on. Show show us. I want more. I want more. They're, they're not showing. What the heck? What the heck? What is this art style? Wait. Reverse? No, don't tell me. Is this a battle royale? Is this a Resident Evil battle royale? This is a- no! No! What is this? This looks so cool! RE first, Resident Evil. What is this? You gotta explain it to me. RE is one of the ways we are celebrating the 25th anniversary of the franchise. Showcasing so many of the characters that fans love. It'll be available for free to anyone who purchases uh. Resident Evil Village. So be sure to follow It'll the be free for Resident Evil Village. Channels for the this is like Resident Evil Resistance. And check out the official website for even more details. This is a Battle Royale Resident Evil. Are you kidding me? I'm down for that though. It looks interesting. It looks fun. Massive Entertainment and Ubisoft. Congratulations to the Resident Evil team on their 25th anniversary. 
We can't wait to get our hands on our reverse. No, I can't wait to get my hands on it either. That looks cool. Celebration to our game. Tom Clancy's The Division 2. Wait. For a limited time, you will be able to collect some of the iconic outfits and items from the Oh, so The Division 2 is getting a Resident Evil stuff too. Logs in during the event. We'll get Leon Kennedy's Raccoon Police Department outfit as a warm-up. That's cool. Let's have a look at some of these. Tom Clancy's Division 2. If you're a Tom Clancy Division 2 fan, I highly recommend go ahead and logging in sometime during this event. Please, by all means, you'll want to do it. I know of some friends who play the Division, so. But, oh, that looks sick. That looks cool. Stars outfit. Resident Evil 5 outfit? You got to go for the RE5 outfit? Yes! RE5 love, please! Hunk! Hunk love too, yes! Dude, you guys need to get that. Mm. Yep. 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 It's only on Netflix! Wow, a lot's been happening, and I hope you enjoyed watching. But if you missed anything along the way, don't worry. Keep an eye on the Resident Evil social channels and official website, which will be sharing. Okay, thank goodness. Today. So if anyone wants to go take a look, there's that. Resident Evil Village is available for pre-order starting. I'm pre-ordering as soon as this is over with. Five, I'm four, doing Xbox Series the 60 Xbox and Steam on Steam PC. PC. And don't forget, PlayStation 5 owners get a sneak peek. <sighs> no epic games. That just feels World nice. It has been an absolute honor to celebrate the amazing Resident Evil leading up to its 25th anniversary with all of you across the globe. I'm your host, Brittany Brombacher, and thank you so much for watching. Until next time. Alright, I'm gonna, I'm gonna pause right here. That was a good showcase. I love that. They did not reveal a whole lot. They revealed that this was a currently just a singular part. They revealed that the merchant was technically making a comeback through the Duke. And the combination of the RE4 gameplay with the Resident Evil gameplay currently coming on. That's just a beautiful combination. And I just love to look at it. And the fact that they didn't really reveal enemies, but they revealed some information. Dude, I'm loving everything. This showcase was great. And we got RE-verse, which is basically a Battle Royale Resident Evil. But it looks like a unique Battle Royale and not the same cookie cutter Battle Royale. And you know what? You know what? I'm down to playing that. It looks so cool. Oh, uh, you know what? Let, let, let's see if there's anything else after this. Let, let's take a look. Cause it looks like there's a bit more video that I, that I paused. Okay, that, that was it. Okay. Thank you guys so much for watching. <laughs> Hope we see you guys next video. Hopefully that will be the edited scripted video I had planned for that deals with Sprint Racer. So. Without further ado, guys, I'll see you later. This will be up on YouTube shortly. Bye-bye.